Welcome to TechWire, a conversation about technology, policy, and government in California. My name is Christina Gagne, and today I'm joined by the Chief Information Officer of the California State Lottery, Amy Tong. Amy, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So people might not realize that the California State Lottery is right now making a shift to mobile. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, we are um, very excited about this shift, and uh, as you know, many of the players we've been um, you know, making the sales to them about the lottery ticket is purchasing through the traditional retailer location or the CVS or the uh, grocery store. Um, with the change in the demographic on the more reliance on using mobile device, um, there's definitely a demand for providing them the opportunity to access to lottery information over mobile. Um, that's, you know, the smartphone or, you know, just tablet, anything you can think of. Um, so because of that, we're following our customer base and we're making that shift. And what percentage of your customer base is currently using the mobile apps? I uh, just got a statistic that was uh, uh, shared with me. I think last year around this time, people, about 25% of our user base was looking at uh, the lottery website through a mobile device. And this time already decreased to 35 and we're looking at in the very near future we're going to reach over 50 percent so another you know perfectly you know trend data that we're using in deciding to shifting more of the service delivery through mobile now many of our viewers have certainly probably purchased a lottery ticket so they're familiar <laughs> with you from that end of things um, but you guys manage a massive amount of information you're both working with individuals that are purchasing tickets as well as businesses that are trying to be that point of access and point of sale for the California State Library how do you manage all of that it's, it's it, funny you ask, people probably looking at lottery as we are the one doing all of the selling and then uh, all the products, but in reality we re heavily, heavily relying on our uh, retailers. We have uh, over 20 retailers statewide, 20,000 retailers statewide, and they are really the extension of lottery. Um, so in order to help them to better serve their customers, um, we also tying them up with the mobile device for better communication. Um, a lot of uh, instant uh, uh, information about promotion opportunities so they can quickly share that with their customer base. So the better we can enable them to do business, the better they can help Lottery to expand you know, the uh, visibility of it. And what are some of your goals for the California State Library? What are some things that you would like to see happen in the next couple years? Well, we are an organization with a, a, a straightforward mission, and it's very and something that we can all stand behind is to raise um, education fund. And um, you know, 97 out of our dollar goes to the public education. So of course, our mission is just to increase those sales so we can support you know the public education entity. Um, so if technology can be a enabler, actually I should say it's not an if; it's absolutely an enabler to the business. We wanted to continue to explore those um, options and opportunity to help our sales force and help our retailers and have our help with um, the ways of getting the uh, you know our missions and goal out to more player base, and uh, that's what we're looking forward to do. So, where can people find your mobile application? We are actually doing a beta release today. Oh, great! Uh, at the very forum, where we have a wonderful booth uh, led by our um, head of um, R and D, Scott Swift. He and his team have been working on this mobile app for a while, and we're looking forward to having that officially launched. Um, probably that will be an announcement. Uh, I'm sure the uh, lottery website will be a location where they can find it. Um, as soon as that becomes available, it will be you know, passing through the App Store and the Android Store for those mobile apps to be available. It will be no free, I mean no fee, so it will be free to the public to download. And um, looking in the next couple of months. Well, great. Well, I'm sure our viewers will definitely go check that out and look out for it as it comes, since the lottery is such a popular uh, program in California. <laughs> great. Thank well, you. Amy, thank you for joining me um, and sharing a little bit more about the state lottery and how you guys are using mobile. Thank you. And thank you to our audience for once again joining us in a conversation about technology, policy, and government in California.